lot of talk um, last week or so with um, our goalie prospect with the Flyers, Kolosov. Um, baller, baller's got an insight. <laughs> um, basically, what was going down is it, it, they were saying at the end of the year, you know, he obviously was in Lehigh, that he was treated poorly, uh, abandoned, um, and that he didn't want to return. Uh, there were some reports that maybe he was a little pissed off Fedotov getting a deal right away, not spending any time in the minors, all that. Who, we don't know that for sure. That's speculation, right. obviously. Um, Flyers are saying that he is coming to camp, and then you have people on the other side saying he's not. Um, what were your thoughts on that? First of all, I do want to say the Flyers don't uh, don't treat anyone poorly, especially now yeah. with the, the regime that's in now. But and they never have yeah. anyway. But uh, I don't. I think the last thing, especially with Ian LaPerriere being a head coach down there, the last thing they were trying to do was mistreat a guy. It would never happen no. under his watch or the fly or Danny B's or Jonesy or anyone, Dan Hilferty as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously a unique situation coming from Russia later in the season and you're, you're, you're finding yourself in a, in a new team in a new situation language barrier you're at the hotel obviously things aren't ideal i mean i don't really know what went on so i think what it seems like now is that he slots himself at number three and maybe he don't want to come back overseas and and play in the minor leagues i mean I, who right. knows now he's just pinning his his frustrations on the back end of the season i mean i i don't know what, what to what to think about it all um those situations are always tough. Anytime you go to a new team, any time of the season. I mean, I yeah. remember, you know, coming to Philly and I'm living at the hotel, you know, the, the Hampton Inn at the time. And, you know, yeah. like you, don't, you don't even have a car. You, you know, didn't even you, have the L.A. Mall then. They didn't have the L.A. Mall. <laughs> no, that, was, <laughs> no, that was in the works. It it was was in the I had to earn that. It was soon after. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these, these, these situations are, are challenging. And obviously there was no other Russian players and the, the right. language barrier. There's probably other, you know, frustrations around uh this the this situation itself uh, other than 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 minutes played as well too right. so i think it's a combination of just like looking at your situation and and seeing where you fit in it and maybe not being happy with it right and making your choices around that other than that i i really can't say what what went on because like you said there's no way in hell that they just like bring this guy over right. and just abandon him, yeah, that's, and, and that's just like not let him, happening. you know, like, let, let him, let him just drift away. There's no way that to happen. So um, I think it's just uh, probably a mixture of foreign territory, yeah, being at a hotel after practice, not a lot of whole, you know, a whole lot going on. You're not in a, you're not in Philadelphia. You're in Lehigh, and nothing against Lehigh, but there's not a whole lot going well, on, that's and it. we know that. Um, I, but to your to your point. I just I agree with you. I don't think the Flyers would ever just. I'm sure they were constantly checking on. Do you need anything? There's a language barrier too. Yeah. The one side of it I'm looking at is like you're a, you're a pro player. You already played pro over there. You you have to realize coming over here, you are going to a place where you don't understand the language That's yet. Right. Um, it's not going to be that easy to do. Obviously, it would have been easier if there's another Russian on the team. We've seen that before. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but if he does come back to camp, you gotta, he's coming to camp. He does have uh, Fedotov here. He's got Z, Big Zamula. Yep. Um, so there are some guys here. But like you said, maybe he doesn't want to play. Maybe he thinks he's penciled in for the minors. But if he's this good and has that big a shot, like I feel like the agents be like, it's okay to start in the American League and be the guy. Well, totally. I mean, uh, yeah. And, and building off that, like that healthy competition, like you, you, you'd be foolish to think that you're going to go in any organization and they're just going to roll at the red carpet, like right. give you a, give you a spot at yeah. the main club. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. And, they're all, and every year teams are always trying to get better. They're always signing new guys right. and trying to, you know, find another piece of the puzzle. Uh, so I, I couldn't imagine just being on the outside looking in and saying, well, look at the situation. I don't want to be a part of it because i don't fit in that spot that i want right like you, you, you gotta go and, and show up and and hell have a hell of a camp and yeah and challenge one of these guys you know you're, you're one injury away or you're well, I, you're one good yeah. performance away of potentially you know shifting someone's perspective there too so i again i don't know enough information i, well, I don't think anyone really does you know there's a lot, it's of, spe a lot of specul hearsay, speculation yeah. We will see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if he shows up in training camp, all this talk is 
you know, it was essentially for no good reason.